Hey guys, it's Samantha. From her rocky relationship with her mother to her most recent divorce, here are some things you didn't know about Jennifer Aniston. Number 14, Beginning. Jennifer Aniston came into the world in February 1969 in California. Her dad is John Aniston, a Greek actor, famous for his roles in Days of Our Lives and Love of Life. Jennifer's mother was Nancy Dow, an actress who played in the Wild Wild West and the Beverly Hillbillies. She also has two half-brothers named John Malik and Alex Aniston. The former is known for assisting with directing films, such as 13 and Stolen from the Suburbs. The latter is lesser, known to the public, but was quoted saying, It's been happening since middle school. It's been a pain in my bleep for years. No comment. By Daily Mail after being asked about his older sister. When she was little, Aniston and her family moved to New York City and began going to the Wardolf School at six years old. She wasn't allowed to watch too much television, even though her father was a TV actor. When she was nine, her parents got divorced, and when she was 11, Aniston discovered her interest in acting. She enrolled in the Ferrello H. LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts when she started studying drama. Number 13, Rise to Fame. After graduating high school, Aniston had a few odd jobs while she continued pursuing acting. She appeared in some off-Broadway shows, including Dancing on Checker's Grave and For Dear Life, while working as a waitress, telemarketer, and bike messenger to keep her finances afloat before her career took off. She also played a small part in the movie Mac and Me, but it was uncredited. Jennifer then appeared on Howard Stern's radio show in 1989 as a neutral system spokesperson. She moved back to California shortly after and scored her first regular role on television in the series Malloy. Aniston also made an appearance in the television adaptation of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. However, both of the shows were canceled shortly after they aired. Jennifer also got the part of Ava in the television movie Camp Cucamonga. In 1993, she made it to the big screen in the horror film Leprechaun, in which she plays Tori Redding, a spoiled young lady that gets chased down by a murderous leprechaun in search of his gold. Unfortunately, the role was recalled as Jennifer's worst one ever by Entertainment Weekly in 2014. Aniston noted that she agreed with the statement. She worked in a couple of other TV series after that, including Muddling Through and The Edge, but these shows didn't last long either. It wasn't until 1994 that Aniston made her Hollywood breakthrough. Number 12, Therapist. Jennifer Aniston became a household name after getting her famous role in Friends. But did you know that she was interested in a career other than acting as well? Once upon a time, Jennifer wanted to be a therapist. She noted in a 2012 interview, I don't know why, I was just always the girl that people would come to and talk about their problems. And I still am. She was somebody that people could confide in. So she said that this job would have been an excellent alternative had acting not worked out. Aniston has also benefited from seeing therapists from various issues throughout her life and believes it is a great profession. Number 11, Friends. While she was dealing with inner turmoil and feeling defeated after the failed shows she played in, Aniston finally got her big break. She talked to Warren Littlefield, a television executive at a gas station in Los Angeles, and he reassured her about her career and inspired her to keep acting. About three months later, he assisted with casting her in Friends. She got the role of Rachel Green, who she played for the length of the show from 1994 to 2004. Around the time that she was hired for Friends, Aniston was also offered a spot on the cast of Saturday Night Live, but ultimately turned it down to work on the sitcom. It ended up being the best choice for Jennifer's career. She quickly rose to worldwide fame. Rachel was extremely popular and was recognized later on as one of the best female characters in the history of American television. Towards the end of the show, Aniston began racking in a whopping $1 million per episode, making her one of the highest paid actresses of all time on television. She received five Primetime Emmy nominations and and won one for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. Aniston also won a 2003 Golden Globe for Best Actress in a TV Series Comedy. Number 10, Movies. Although she gained her fame through her role in Friends, Aniston has also received a lot of recognition for her movies she starred in since the series ended. In 1996, she returned to the silver screen in the film She's the One, alongside Cameron Diaz. A year later, Aniston played the lead role of Kate in Picture Perfect, a romantic comedy about an advertising executive who fakes an engagement to a man she doesn't know to try and impress her boss. In 1998, she starred with Paul Rudd in The Object of My Affection, and a year later, Aniston took a leading role as Joanna in Office Space. She voiced Annie in The Iron Giant the same year and acted in Rockstar and The Good Girl in 2001 and 2002, respectively. In 2003, Jennifer became even more popular, acting alongside Jim Carrey in Bruce Almighty. The film is still her most significant commercial success to this day. It grossed $484 million worldwide. After that, Aniston got roles in Along Came Polly, Derailed, Rumor Has It, and Friends with Money. In 2006, she started another popular romantic comedy with Vince Vaughn, The Breakup. It grossed about $204 million internationally. A couple of years later, Aniston took the starring role with Owen Wilson in the movie Marley and Me. Her other hit films include He's Just Not That Into You, Horrible Bosses, and We're the Millers, which pulled in a total of $269 million. More recently, Aniston has been in She's Funny That Way, Cake, Horrible Bosses 2, Mother's Day, and The Yellowbirds. 
Don't forget to subscribe. Number nine, exercise. There's no denying Jennifer Aniston's good looks and how well she's aging, but maintaining her stunning appearance takes a lot of hard work. So let's talk about her exercise routine and diet. Aniston works out for about an hour six days out of the week, her rest day being on Sundays. She has a personal trainer that assists her with exercises, but she also does a lot of work on her own. She also always mixes her activities up, according to Insider. Jennifer stated to People, I usually do a trifecta, 15 minutes on the bike, 15 minutes on the treadmill, and then 15 on the elliptical. You have to shake it up, you know? Some of her other routines include karate and yoga. Along with her workout plan, she also sticks to a strict diet. Most days of the week, she eats gluten-free, high-protein, and low-carb meals, like egg whites, smoothies, and salads. Aniston also recommends eating a lot of organic fruits and vegetables and drinking a lot of water. However, one day a week, she eats whatever she's craving. Number eight, philanthropy. Not only is Jennifer Aniston a successful actress, but she's also a wonderful person all around. She has been involved in many charities for a long time. In 2007, she won the GLAAD Vanguard Award for contributing to the understanding of the LGBT community. A year later, she hosted Stand Up to Cancer. Aniston also joined fellow stars Ben Stiller, Courtney Cox, and Woody Harrelson on Earth Day in 2010 to try and end the butchery of dolphins. A few years after that, she became the ambassador for the Key to the Cure campaign by Saks Fifth Avenue. In 2016, Smartwater honored the actress for her work with St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital at a Los Angeles event. A year later, she donated $500,000 each to the Red Cross and Ricky Martin Foundation to help hurricane victims. Aniston also supports Doctors Without Borders, Partners in Health, AmeriCares, Friends of El Faro, and other various charities. Number 7. BEA Beautiful Jennifer Aniston has also earned a reputation as one of the pre prettiest woman in Hollywood. As Jim Carrey said in Bruce Almighty, she is bea beautiful. In 2004 and 2016, she was number one for People's List of Most Beautiful Women. In 2005, she was GQ's first woman of the year. Aniston also made it on FHM's 100 Sexiest Women list in 2008, 2009, 2010, and 2012. In 2011, she was voted Sexiest Woman of All Time in Men's Health magazine. However, just like any leading lady out there, Jennifer has dealt with some disrespectful tabloid articles. One such piece rumored her to be pregnant, and she was fed up with it. Aniston authored an essay for the Huffington Post in 2016 titled For the Record. In it, she stated, Women are complete with or without a mate, with or without a child. We get to decide for ourselves what is beautiful when it comes to our bodies. We don't need to be married or mothers to be complete. We get to determine our own happily ever after for ourselves. Go Jen! Number 6. Living Proof Aniston has been involved in numerous businesses throughout her career, one of which was Living Proof. This hair care company was founded in 2012, and she was a co-owner as well as a spokesperson for their products. Since Aniston's hairstyle has been famous since she was on Friends, she's really helped develop the brand. She even tested Living Proof's goods herself. Jennifer stated to People Style, I test hair products on my friends like they're Barbie dolls. She truly enjoyed using them because they allowed a lower maintenance hairstyle. However, she had to leave the company after it was purchased by Unilever in 2016. Number 5. Dyslexia Although she's been one of the most sought-after women in Hollywood for years now, there was a time when Aniston faced a lot of self-esteem issues. When she was in school, she never thought she was the brightest because she had trouble keeping track of what she learned. However, Jennifer was diagnosed with dyslexia in her 20s, which gave light to a problem she dealt with in her younger years. She said later on, I thought I wasn't smart, I just couldn't retain anything. Now I had this great discovery. She also stated that she has a bit of a lazy eye as well, so they always have to correct it in her photos. Number 4. Ellen Something else you might not know about Jennifer Aniston is that she was Ellen's first guest on her television talk show in 2003. She was gifted the host a welcome mat for future guests, and they discussed Aniston's number one spot on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list that year. Number 3. Relationship with Mother Aniston has also dealt with a lot of issues in her personal life, one of which was her relationship with her mom, Nancy Dow. It took a downfall after her mother wrote the memoir, From Mother and Daughter to Friends. Jennifer didn't even invite her to her wedding with Brad Pitt in 2000. In 2015, she told The Hollywood Reporter, My mom was critical. She was very critical of me. Because she was a model, she was gorgeous, stunning. I wasn't. I never was. She was also very unforgiving. She would hold grudges that I just found so petty. They reunited about two weeks before her mom passed away in 2016. Number 2. Brad Pitt There's no doubt that you've heard about Jennifer and Brad Pitt's famous divorce, but let's take a quick look back at some fun facts about their relationship that you probably didn't know. First of all, these two met on a blind date their agents set up for them. They got married in 2000, and a year later, Pitt guest starred on Friends as Will, who ironically hated Rachel Green, Jennifer's character. They were a power couple in Hollywood, and Aniston even talked about starting a family with Pitt. However, it came to an end after he starred alongside Angelina Jolie in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Number 1. Justin Thoreau the most recent news surrounding Aniston is her divorce from Justin Thoreau. They met on the set of Tropic Thunder in 2007, but didn't start dating until 2011. They bought a house together a year later, and Justin proposed shortly after. 
The couple tied the knot in 2015 at their home. Justin and Jennifer shared many wonderful times, but announced their separation in February 2018. They stated, We have decided to announce our separation. This decision was mutual and lovingly made at the end of last year. We are two best friends who have decided to part as a couple, but look forward to continuing our cherished friendship. Today's comment comes from Something Random on our 11 Famous People Who Sadly Can't Have Kids video. Thanks for the comment, Something Random. Don't forget to leave your comments below and we might feature you in an upcoming video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.